Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Anton Bushido again, and I'm going to show you um, about how to get your themes up and running, especially with Emerald and the GTK um, themes. Uh, recently, Ubuntu, they updated the GTK to about 2 point something. So if you try the 1 point um, GTK um, themes, then they won't tend to work that much. So let me get about this. Uh, you need to go to basically applications and go to Ubuntu Software Center first to try to get the Emerald Theme Manager. Um, whenever it decides to come up, uh, there we go. So just type in Emerald. There it is. Already have it installed, but go to Emerald Theme Manager, install it, and then you would journey over to a website called gnomelook.org and here you would just click on uh, the GTK 2x and just find the theme that you like um, so I'm just gonna basically randomly get something that is alright that appeals to me like uh, this one right here and just to make sure that you like what you see you can choose one of those right there well not choose one of those but just look at the theme all together and go ahead and download it and sometimes it depends on the link though but it'll ship you to DeviantArt or somewhere else and you'll have to unzip the file so just Got a show folder here. I'm working with uh, Google Chrome, so uh, t -t -t -t. here it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into it and I'm going to extract the file. Uh, I'll just extract it here and downloads. And go there, and there goes the Emerald theme right there. And then there goes the tar. Dot GZ, which also that is the uh, GTK uh, theme too. So basically, if you want your theme to look like that, you would put it in Emerald and also the GTK. Uh, that's the thing about uh, GnomeLook.org is sometimes they're packaged in with each other to use Emerald or GTK. So let me minimize this. You go to, well, let's first just try installing the GTK part, which is the POES.tar.gz file. And go to themes, install, and wherever you saved it at, which I saved it in downloads, I found that, and I click on it. It says, yes, I want to apply the new theme and the theme is applied you can also tell it right here and these right here well your application windows and all that places the systems and once that's installed you can click out of it and you can go to let's say emerald theme manager And I already have a couple of a few themes up on here that I've already preloaded and all that stuff. But let's see here, I'm gonna save this theme that I had previously, untitled theme. Let's just call it a uh, Final Fantasy V2, and let's just save it. Okay, theme save, and. That's just, I wanted to save it because I like the theme that I previously had <laughs> and I wanted to save the features. So, go to import and go to downloads again and the file that you extracted and there goes the POES uh, POSA Emerald theme that I just downloaded and it's up and there it goes. So all you have to do is just click on it and boom. It's already changed and everything. 
So, let's say you don't like your icon, your little X close window, minimize window on the right hand side. It kind of reminds you of Windows and you're just trying to get the look over. What you can do is go to edit theme and go to title bar. Here you'll see title bar object layout and it will show you uh, which is closed and it's minimize and restore and all that. So right around here you can see where the close and everything is at. And what I'm going to do is just basically delete everything. Make sure you don't close up the window or do any funny thing with the window or shut down the computer because you won't be able to close or anything until you uh, specify where things are. So sometimes you can have a few glitchy glitches somewhere depending on how the theme looks but since the theme looks pretty sound and squared sometimes they're kind of rounded so you have to put them exactly like the way they were but this time I'm going to put like uh, the clothes right here and you see it changed on to your left hand side of the screen close then uh, see X restore and then end for minimize and it comes up, it closes, uh, X minimize and minimize window, and maximize and then minimize window. And <clears throat> let's say, well, you don't have your little icons or the name of the thing. So what you want to do is put a colon. Anything from the left of the colon is going to go uh, to the, I um, mean, anything to the right of the colon is going to go uh, to the other way, and anything to the left is going to be the other way. So. Let's try I for icon and T for title. So now you have the icon and the title right there. And it's pretty much set how you uh, specified it. And you can also change the title bar height if you wanted to. If you wanted to make it a little bit taller, I mean a little bit shorter, and that way it'll be a little bit taller. I uh, keep mine's almost about where it was where I first got it. And that's pretty much it. You can also change the the way that it looks. Like you can go for uh let's say true glass, which is one of my favorites. And it'll go orange, but eh, I don't really like that. So I'm just gonna leave it at where it had Pix map at and that's pretty much how you set the theme up you can also change the colors you can change the colors right here and you can also set the occupancy on like it see if it's see through or not but since I already have the see through from my previous tutorial on how to do that on Compass then I don't really have any thing to really to do for that and that's how you set up your basically your theme manager for Emerald and GTK. As far as I got a question on how what what what's this bar thing right here, and that's uh that's on Event Windows Navigation uh, Dock thing. <laughs> so basically, if you want it on, you can get go to Ubuntu Software Center again and once it loads up after it takes its time just type in AWN you'll see Avent Window Navigator or if you like if you got like a lot of CPU power or everything um, I tend not to Cario Duck is pretty good but I tend not to go with it because it's just using my CPU power so I'm going to say C-A-I-R-O it comes with the uh, OpenGL, which means if you wanted to auto start it after when your computer boots, it uses OpenGL. But you also have to have like uh, your graphics card um, pretty well too, because I know there has been some iffy things on ATI, and Nvidia has been really generous with their 
with their uh, basically their software, uh, giving it to the open source community. But ATI has been kind of reluctant to do that, and you have to do a whole bunch of shiitake mushrooms to get that through. Uh, and actually, I'm just going to install Cario, show everyone what it pretty much looks like. But uh, I like my on dock. It's pretty much safe and clear. Let's press that in the main menu. You can get that little icon from the extras, or else it's just going to look uh, just like the applications going up and down. Uh, also, um, you also have like uh, little icon applets that you can put on on. And while that's preloading, I'll just show you the dock preferences. Once it comes up again. There we go. And here you can specify if you want it on the bottom, the top, the left, the right, the side of your screen. You can have it so what I'm using now is floaty. You can also have it edged curve the 3d view flat view whatever you want it <clears throat> and it just basically makes it so it's easier to just go to your different apps and applications and since I downloaded Cario I'm just gonna click on real quick got accessories Cario doc let's do it with OpenGL so you can get all the nice little Ghibli graphics and that's pretty much what it looks like uh, it's just a, a whole lot more it does than it do, uh, it'll do than on itself and you can go to the configurations and it's a whole array of configurations that you can do that I'll specify in another uh, tutorial on Ubuntu Linux and how to basically pimp out your computer <laughs> so this is anti-bushido and I'm out